today we're doing some exposing. I did some research and found one interesting unknown fact about every Fortnite YouTuber. There's some pretty interesting stuff here, especially Nick A30s. Lachlan. One thing I think is really interesting is that his first name is actually Lachlan and his last name is Power. So he ended up naming his esport organization after his name, which I think is really cool. He got his start from Pixelmon Minecraft videos, then switched over to Pokemon Go before eventually finding Fortnite. But one thing you might not know is he wasn't always the most famous person in his family. Not many people know this, but his dad is actually a politician and the mayor of Logan City, a big city in Australia. No wonder why his dad is a politician and Lachlan ended up becoming a YouTuber. Their last name is literally Power. It sounds like it's straight out of an anime. Now for Ali A. A lot of people know him as a big Call of Duty YouTuber before transitioning over to Fortnite. And that's actually when I first discovered him way back then. He's been doing this for a very long time and he actually blew up while he was still in high school. One thing people might not know is he was a bit of an academic and actually wanted to go to university to pursue mathematics. I'm not 100% sure on the connection, but this might be why his original YouTube name was Matroix. Similar to Matrix, which is a math term, but not very marketable. So he ended up changing his name to Ali A, which is short for Alistar Aiken, his real name. Next up, we have Clicks. He really blew up during the World Cup qualifiers because he was absolutely destroying lobbies. And I'm pretty sure he qualified for the World Cup five different times. He was by far one of the best fighters in the scene and developed a lot of the early box fighting that we know today. One fun fact about Clicks is that his old username used to be Classics and he was on this esports team. And one of his teammates told him that his username was a little bit too complicated. And if you really wanted to make it big, it needs to be simple and clean. So he ended up changing his name from Classics to Clicks. Now from Ucell, before Fortnite, he was a huge Overwatch and TF2 YouTuber. I actually got introduced to Ucell through Overwatch. And to this day, his OG TF2 and Overwatch fans are always begging him to come back. But Fortnite took him to a completely different level. And just like Lachlan, Muzelk also has a pretty interesting family. Him and his sister Grace started Click Management, and his other sister Ilsa is actually dating Laserbeam. But that's not all. His mom is actually a big time CEO and businesswoman and was the group managing director for Coca Cola in Australia. So definitely a pretty interesting family with Muzelk. Speaking of Laserbeam, he's always been a big YouTuber, but Fortnite took him to a completely different level but he also had a secret channel before this channel as you guys know he's a construction worker and on this channel he used to use heavy machinery to break things and the channel's name was crush slash he even got on the news for it in australia and it's kind of funny to see how laser beam looked all the way back then the face of gaming ninja has had a very public upcoming and a lot of people know him as the guy who blew up from fortnite but he actually was a pro halo player and he streamed a lot of h1z1 and PUBG after his competitive days in halo and he was honestly a pretty big streamer before Fortnite was even a thing. Fortnite took him to the next level and helped him become a household name. Speaking of names, his first name is not Tyler. Tyler is actually his middle name and his first name is Richard, but he chooses to go by Tyler. I remember a few years ago squatting up with Ninja and Lupo and Lupo kept calling Ninja Richard and I had no idea why he was doing that and I didn't even know back then that his name was Richard. If this video gets 100,000 likes in my next duo session with Ninja, I'm gonna call him Richard the entire time and see how he reacts. While Ninja was competing in H1Z1 all the way back then, he was actually facing off against his future rival Tifu. And for some reason, Tifu is just good at any game he plays. Whether it's Warzone, H1Z1, Minecraft speedruns, it doesn't really seem to matter. He's always world class. But it doesn't stop there. Before he started gaming, Tifu was actually a really good skimboarder, even having some world records, and was an elite longboarder as a teenager. He eventually got his big break in 2018 when the Codas noticed how insane his aim was and decided to duo with him and even raid him. Speaking of raiding, I have to give a huge shout out to State Farm. We teamed up with State Farm this past month in support of their raiding for good campaign basically we identified a handful of streamers in the community and shined a spotlight on them we talked to them for a bit about their goals and dreams and then hit them with the raid and state farm even gifted them 500 subs to help them grow the community and be a good neighbor let's all go raid maddie show her some love i need to see the state farm jake emo spammed in the chat thank you cypher appreciate it thank you guys for all the follows welcome in my name is maddie cypher i don't know if you're ever gonna see this bro but like this is like one of the coolest things i've ever experienced state farm is just going crazy with the gifted subs oh my gosh what the hell thank you so 
so freaking much. Again, thanks to State Farm for teaming up with us to support the community. Next up, we have the X2 twins. They're from Australia. And obviously, if you haven't guessed it, they're twins. Apparently, they were really big into sports before, even coaching tennis before getting into CSGO. And then Fortnite, where they used their twin synergy to pop off in the World Cup qualifiers. Shortly after that, they got their big break by popularizing the Fortnite fashion shows. Since they were twins, one day in primary school, they decided it would be funny for them to switch classes for the entire day and the teachers had no idea. Tommy from Top 5 Gaming is an interesting one because he doesn't really show himself that much in his videos. His current channel, Top 5 Gaming, was actually a secondary channel based off the channel Top 5 Central, which was a channel doing commentary type videos on real life stuff. Once Fortnite blew up, he slowly started transitioning his focus on Top 5 Gaming. One thing you might not know about Tommy is that Fortnite Pro Player's scope is actually his younger brother. And a lot of people might know that, but he also has a brother named Chucky, who's actually one of the head people that works on Mr. Beast videos. So that entire family has some pretty good content in their genes. Now for Typical Gamer, he has been doing this for a long time, 12 years of making videos, and that's just on his main channel. He got his big break when he blew up on GTA 5 covering GTA 5 leaks. That's how OG he is. And when Fortnite came out, he started making Fortnite content and slowly started to blow up, but he didn't get as popular as some of the other people like Ninja and Tifu. but he stayed consistent up until today and is still uploading and is now one of the most recognized names in Fortnite. It was a little hard to find some personal facts about him, but we did find his first ever live stream where he did his first face reveal. And this dude looks so different with that haircut, glasses, shirt combo. He looks like an OG Nick A30. Next up, we have myself, Cypher PK, and you guys know me as a pillar of the Fortnite community, and I've been playing this game for the past five years, but I was actually a pro player in two other games before I discovered Fortnite. It started with Elder Scrolls Online, which is an MMO. I ended up becoming one of the best duelers in the game, and I'm still to this day known as the best solo PvP player who ever played the game. After Elder Scrolls, I started playing a game called For Honor, which is a medieval fighting game, and I actually qualified for the For Honor World Cup, and I attended and played my favorite character Shigoki, which wore an Oni mask, which is where the Oni mask originates from. Now for C-Day. Finding information about him was definitely a little bit tough, but we know he started making Destiny videos and he grinded to hone his skills and his unique edit style took over the scene once he swapped to Fortnite and really blew up his channel. One funny note is while doing research on C-Day back in his Destiny days, I found a clip of him talking about his grind and how he used to work 10 hours a day because he would upload it daily. That's right, C-Day used to upload daily and I even found a clip of him apologizing for taking four days off for Thanksgiving and that it will never happen again missing out on uploading really hurts to be honest i'm never taking a break like that ever again honestly i miss the days when cd would upload consistently and i hope with his recent return that it's a little bit more permanent now the story of fresh is really inspiring because when he started off he didn't really have a lot to work with he was playing on hand-me-down laptops and just suboptimal setups but he didn't let that stop him he grinded and became way better than a lot of people even with the disadvantages and one fun fact that the super og fresh fans might know is that his early streams had terrible Wi-Fi. I mean, Australia already has suboptimal internet, but I mean, his Wi-Fi was atrocious and his stream would disconnect every 30 minutes, but I didn't stop him or his fans from watching him because he was just that good. Now for Courage JD, he had his big blow up on Fortnite when he got a $70,000 dono from Mr. Beast and he was playing morning squads with Tim, Ninja, and Lupo every single day. But as a lot of you know, he didn't actually gain his initial following from being a content creator. Back in college, he really wanted to get into the esports scene so he started as an intern at mlg and one of the days the casters was actually sick so the intern courage stepped up and put on his iconic caster voice and he ended up becoming one of the most beloved cod casters and grew a following off of that now for booga the world cup champion he obviously blew up after shocking the entire world with his performance at the fortnite world cup walking away with three million dollars but there was always this narrative that he was just this unknown kid that shocked everyone because realistically he wasn't the favorite to win mongrel and ben Benji were huge favorites and Tifu was the fan wild card that everybody was rooting for. Now, Buga, on the other hand, wasn't really a favorite, but he did get first place in the first week of the NA East qualifiers. So he's definitely someone to look out for. I actually knew about Buga way before the World Cup qualifiers because his old duo partner, Cody, was someone that I actually trained in Elder Scrolls Online. And now finally, Nick A30. What can we expose about him? What secrets does he have? What 
what skeletons does he have in his closet? Well, we know he grew up in Nova Scotia, Canada. He was a good student and decided to pursue content creation instead of college, especially content around The Last of Us. And he actually lives with his parents and he's the perfect family friendly role model. He likes to go outdoors. He exercises. What could be wrong with Nick? What can we expose about him? Well, he does sometimes have a bit of an expensive taste. We know he's always loved cars and loves to go on rides to clear his head. After a little bit of the Fortnite success, Nick 830 was spotted in a Ferrari. Ferrari 488 GTB, which is a pretty expensive car, and it went viral on TikTok. I recently asked him about the Ferrari. He said he doesn't have it anymore. Maybe he's just being humble, but honestly, Nick deserves it, and I'm super happy for him. Shout out to all the other YouTubers, Chica, Gref, McCreamy, Tico, Loserfruit, and all the other Fortnite YouTubers that weren't on this list. Maybe if you guys enjoyed this one, we'll make a part two.